delivering a person called Mary Magdalene. We read this is in the Gospel of Mark chapter 16 verse 9. We read how the Lord is delivering Martha. This is Gospel of Mark. Let's read chapter 16 verse 9. Now, after he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene from whom he had cast out seven demons. Now, Mary Magdalene became an apostle of apostles, a servant of God, because Jesus delivered her from seven demons. And which are these seven demons? These are the seven cardinal sins. Cardinal sins does not mean the sins committed by cardinals. That means capital sin, deadly sins. If we look into any manifestation, any problem, any struggle, that people are struggling with alcohol, people struggle with pornography, people struggle with anger, people struggle with some kind of manifestations. And they know, even people who are sick, and they cannot get out of this sickness, even they take medicine, and medicine cannot help them. So you are all attending this retreat with great hope thinking if there is a deliverance prayer that is being made, you will be getting out of this particular sickness, this particular manifestation, this particular bad habit. But the Lord, the Lord is here to do something greater, something higher and something more important for your life. Now, what did exactly God do to convert Mary Magdalene? Remember, she was a sinner woman, hated by others. Maybe she hated herself. Maybe she was in the pit of sin. Now, the Lord is coming and setting her free. How? By delivering her from seven demons. And who are these demons? I told you these are the seven cardinal sins. They are anger, pride, laziness, jealousy, lust, greed, and gluttony. And these seven demons, sisters and brothers, if you look into every capital sin, the root of every capital sin is fear. Because devil is a deceiver. It is fear. For example, what is uh, pride? It's a fear of committing yourself. Fear of giving up yourself. Fear of giving up your independence. What is greed? Fear of detachment what is laziness fear of commitment what is lust fear of becoming a child what is uh, jealousy this is fear of loving then what is anger fear of getting hurt that means every uh, sin every cardinal sin is rooted in fear if fear is the root cause of all these cardinal sins or the root causes of our bondage, then what is the, uh, how to overcome it? The fruit is love. If fear is the cause, love is what helps us to overcome these habits. That's why we read, this is 1 John 4, 18. 1 John 4, 18. You can repeat with me together, wherever you are, kindly repeat. There is... No fear in love. You can repeat with me. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cuts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. Once again, there is no fear in love, but perfect love cuts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. That means the more is the love, the more is, the less is the fear. The more is the power of God coming, the more you will be delivered from all these bad habits that is destroying you, that is blocking you to produce the fruit. We have to know there are so many people, they get angry and within no time, they say, I'm very sorry. That means there's a spirit behind this anger. That means this evil is not permitting them to get out of it. That means what I am saying, when we are asking for deliverance, actually we need deliverance from anger, pride, jealousy, lust, laziness, greed and gluttony. Once you get deliverance from these seven spirits, these are spirits 
these are not just ideas or some bad habits or small sins these are the spirits that is giving us these bondages that means if somebody says i don't want to get angry but i feel angry there are people who say i don't i hate alcohol i i don't like to drink alcohol but i am tempted to take this alcohol that means there is a root there is a spirit working behind that is why we need deliverance from all these spirits that is a true deliverance basically uh, we always say here there when i was in africa in kenya the devil is like malaria now we can say he is like corona virus why what how it manifests and what is the root cause is so different for example if you get malaria sometimes malaria can be seen with headache sometimes it's with fever sometimes it's with back pain sometimes it's with loose motion but it will never be visible the same way now for example if somebody is affected by corona virus it can be manifested with a cough with a cold with a chest infection with some kind of a fever but it's only when you check you will understand now these days if somebody gets cough then you will immediately think it this is corona but you cannot know it unless you get tested we know when it comes to satanic afflictions why people get confused because they don't know why this person is manifesting and here i am saying every sin the catholic church teaches is rooted in a capital sin and we should know we should never hate a sinner we hate sin we are praying for deliverance from a person from these bad habits we love the sinner and we hate sin but unfortunately we human beings we have a tendency to love sin and hate sinners jesus was just the opposite for example one day one boy he came for prayers and he was telling his problem is anger he gets angry for small things and he said i got this anger because of my mom i hate my mom that means his anger is rooted in hatred towards his mom because his mom was very angry upset mistreating him that's why he is telling he is so angry because mother is getting angry he is hating the mother then we told him you should not hate your mother you have to hate the sin of anger that means what is making your mother to get angry is a spirit of anger you have to hate that habit of anger and you should not get angry like your mother now what is happening devil is a deceiver with this habit that's there in mother you are hating mother who is actually a victim of anger sisters and brothers as we are praying for this deliverance retreat we have to accept even me as i preach to you we need deliverance which is an ongoing process this deliverance is not just for a physical healing this is this, this should not be just for a kind of a breakthrough in our financial bondage or from some kind of getting out of some hereditary problems or some kind of childlessness or marriage blocks this can all be rooted in some kind of bondage but we have to know something beyond that means we need deliverance from these spirits which are these spirits cardinal sins